everybody, this is Harriet Cameron. And today on our show, we're going to talk about man rules. That's right, for all you guys out there, it's your day. Welcome to our show. And the reason I'm talking about it is because on my Facebook page recently, someone posted a man, a guy, posted man rules. And he numbered each of them number one. And as I read it, I really could relate to it from a woman's point of view. And I suppose what I did was I separated myself so I could look at it objectively. And some of the things that we ladies take for granted are actually quite mm, a, little bit, a little bit annoying to our men. And in an effort to create that harmony and, and melody in our relationships, I would like to talk today about man rules. Well, here's a big pet peeve that most men have. Ladies, are you ready? You know that little thing we do in the bathroom? Well, they leave the toilet seat up, but when we go to use it, we put it down. But we talk about them. We say, well, he's always leaving the toilet seat up. I am serious. There have been divorces. People have gotten divorced because he kept leaving the toilet seat up. But look at it this way. I want you to look at it from his point of view. From his perspective, he's a man. What does he do? He stands to pee. So naturally, he is going to leave what? The toilet seat up. Duh. You see now? It's a whole different picture when you look at it through his lens. When we go to pee, we sit down. So then when he comes in, he has to do what? He has to raise it up. And when you go in, you have to put it down. Now, is that any reason to divorce him or to start an argument? No, that's a simple thing. What that is, is understanding. Understanding each other and meeting each other right at the point of our need. After all, that's why we got married, right? Right, that's man rules number one. <laughs> man rules number one again, it's talking to him while he's watching what? His game, football, basketball, baseball, Whatever the game is, there's one rule that men do not like. Don't raise any conversation or start any conversation while he's watching sports. And ladies, we need to understand that and step back a little and look at it. Why is that so? For a man, sports is where he gets his uh from, his stuff. It, it's what motivates him. And if you look at it in the bigger picture, the real deal is that he spends a lot of time working and providing. He spends a lot of time doing a whole lot of stuff. And in a bygone era, it was okay for a guy to go out and hunt and bond out in the woods and go into cave and be the caveman thing. In today's world, he doesn't do that. What we give him are sports. So ladies, well, he's watching sports, please. Don't bring up any conversation. If I were you, I would wait until sports are over, let him watch it. Go watch Scandal or something else, just let him watch it. And when all the sports are over, then you can have his undivided attention. The other rules that a guy does not like is that thing that we all do. We ask him if we're fat. What are, what, where are we doing that to ourselves? You're putting him in an uncomfortable position because really he's going to be honest. He might say something that you don't like or you might not want to hear and you might think that that's what he really thinks. So it's better to have that conversation with yourself, your family, or your girlfriends than to have it with him. And ladies, just to be honest, we need balance in our lives. There are some things that we should leave our man alone to do, and there are some things that we should only discuss with our girlfriends. So have some friends, have some girlfriends, but by all means, never ask anyone if you are fat, because what that does is set you up for an answer that you probably do not want to hear. And the other man rule that I'd like you to think about, I know it, go, it just gets crazy. And I invite you to continue writing to me. Go to my Facebook page. The Harry Kamek Show is on Facebook, as well as going to my website, www.harrietkamek.org, and make sure that you continue to send us these topics. Because the other man rules that men do not like, <laughs> the other one that they don't like, never ask them what is the color of this. This is what my friend on Facebook said. He said, we don't know peach. He said, peach is a fruit. <laughs> and he also said, we don't know what mauve is. So ladies, when you go to buy paint for the house or you're looking at a dress, don't ask him if you think this peach color suits me. Uh, that's a question we should say for our girlfriends. 
All of this, what this does is minimize the friction in our relationships. And the happier we are is the happier he is. And when he's happy, guess what? You have the greatest life. So make sure you go to my Facebook page. The Harriet Kamek Show is on Facebook. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and go to my website, www.harrietkamek.org and send me your comments, send me your subjects. I want to hear from you. I want to know what you're thinking and let us know what you want us to talk about. Thank you so much for joining us.